Hello, I'm Liam, and we are playing Four Against Darkness. We've acquired the artifact that Devigna Marcia sent us here to acquire, the Eternal Food Cauldron, formerly in the possession of an Etten adventurer who has been permanently separated from said artifact, and we are now looking for treasure and experience, hoping to level up and pay down our debt. Hmm. Which amounts to just over 4,000 gold. Um, we, I think we've accumulated, let's see, 160, 185 to just a couple of hundred gold. So not enough um, uh, to take a chunk, not, not enough to feel like a significant chunk. So um, we left off here in room 7. Um, Throck couldn't resist touching a statue, which came to life and then... Uh, Throck immediately smashed it with his hammer and kicked it for good measure with his magical metal shoes that he got from that Etten adventurer. Um, everybody, I don't think everybody else even have a chance to draw their weapons, so Throck just took it out. Um, and got a, a minimal amount of gold from inside the statue, but uh, something is something. So, <laughs> wise words from Throck. Uh, and that's where we are. Let's see if we can explore four or five more tiles here and then get out of here. So, uh, here we go. We're going to move out of room seven back into corridor six. We have to make a wandering monster roll. No wandering monsters. We'll head through this northeast door. It is not locked. So, we can just roll and see uh, what's behind there. One... One. We've seen that before. It's another hallway. Where's my pen? Here we go. It's just a four tile, four grid hallway. One, two, three, four. Ends about here. It's got a door on the north, but that's not gonna, um, that's gonna butt up against the edge of our grid here. So we'll just do the one to the south. That's about. And I'm actually going to put it over here so that we have room to put something here. What is that door? Is it locked? On a one or two, it's locked. It is not. So that's open. Or it's unlocked anyway. It's not open. Um, this is a corridor, tile number eight. What do we have going on in the corridor? I'm getting getting sick of corridors <laughs> uh, and there haven't been that many they're just more challenging because of the positioning of your players and whatnot so um seven and a corridor we've got minions roll d6 minions table so fiendish foes minions we add one to our minion count three uh, and the actual minions that are here are Chaos Slavers. So we're going to roll 2d3 plus 2. So that's a 3, that's a 3, that's 6, 7, 8 Chaos Slayers. Slave, slavers. 8 Chaos Slavers hanging out in the corridor. Because <laughs> that's what you do when you're a Chaos Slaver. You're like, this looks like a good corridor. Let's stay here for a while. Level 7. Got eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two treasure rolls, morale plus one. The cruel slavers have set up a trap. Before the fight begins, resolve the bear trap, level four, on the traps table. Um, da, da, da. Okay. So we need to find the traps table. Go into my alphabetized index. Oh, wait, there is not one. Okay, let's go to the unalphabetized table of contents. Uh, traps, 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 traps. I don't, am I blind? I don't see it. Well, you control F, traps. There we go. It's on page 62. So we'll go down on page 62. Bear trap. The character must roll d6, trying to beat the level of the trap. Character failing the roll has a foot caught in the bear trap. 
The character loses one life and will have minus one attack and defense rolls until that lost life is recovered and his limping leg heals. A limping character will roll at minus two against other bear traps or trap doors. Oh dear, this sounds mean. The character must roll d6 to beat the level. Of, what was the level of the trap? Level four. Okay, so Throck is in the lead. He's the one that triggers the bear trap. Six. That explodes, but he doesn't need it. He beats the level. Thank goodness. Throck has been great at avoiding traps so far. Um, and smashing things. He's been excellent at smashing things so far. Okay, that's that. Now we attack. Right? Yes. Here we go. Throck. Avoids the bear trap and then swings his two-handed hammer. Rolls a four. Plus his attack of five is nine. He takes out one of the chaos slavers just like that. He's got these magic metal shoes which give him another attack. That's a four. That's another. He takes out another one. Two. <laughs> he dodges the bear trap. Smashes one chaos slaver with his hammer. And um, kicks another one. <laughs> And kills it by kicking it. Okay. Um, who else is in front? Elric uh, can attack. He's in the front. We'll just he uh, he's got his. What does he have? He has a silver one-handed hammer. Here we go, Elric. Six. Elric explodes. Nine plus his attack of two is eleven. Uh, they're level seven, so he takes out one. Okay. Blesk. Um, do we want to use spells on this guy? She's got scrolls of sleep. She's got a lightning bolt. I think we'll hang on to the spells for now. Uh, anything else going on? Oh, I keep Blesk has this humming beam that we found in Torment's Rest. She can throw that in any corridor and turn it into a room. So that's fun. Uh, I will never remember that, but you know, there it is. Uh, let's see. So she's just going to attack with her silver sword. Six explodes. Seven plus four is 11. Uh, that takes out another chaos slaver. And now she, oh no, we're in a corridor, right? She can't attack with her sword. So that was her bow. No, no real difference in outcome there. But for Jim, uh, he, we're in a corridor, and he's in the back, so he can't attack with his sword, um, so he'll attack with his bow. One, Jim misses. Okay, it's their turn. Chaos Slavers, uh, they can attack two people, so one will attack Throck. Um, Throck rolls a four, plus his defense of one is five. That's not enough. Throck takes a point of damage. And now one of them attacks Elric. Elric rolls a three, plus his defense of three is also not enough. And Elric takes a point of damage. They're not going down without a fight. So, our turn. There's four left. We'll do a morale roll the next time we kill one of them. Throck. Five, that explodes. Six explodes, it's 11. 13 plus his attack 5 is 18. That's enough to take down 2, but not 3. There are 2 left. What do they do? They have a morale plus 1. So they roll a 3. That's not enough. They run. So the Chaos Slavers, the remaining 2, fled. True treasure rolls. Excellent. We like treasure. Okay, here we go. One, 2d6 times two gold pieces. Eight, so 16 gold pieces. And uh, four, one gem worth. Seven times 10 gold pieces. Gem 70. Okay, not too shabby. Uh, do we go east or do we go through this door? Let's look at what's east. East of us is 2-4. 2-4. We've got a funny kind of room. 
two, four, it's a grid. Uh, that's going to put us right... I'm going to turn this a little bit. I'm going to make it have a door here in this wall where there wasn't a door before. And we'll make it go up to here. That'll end there. Put another door at the far end. And it comes down like this. And do I put a door down there? Sure, why not? There's a door down there. So now let's, what's the deal with these doors? Is this door locked? One to two, it's locked. It is not locked. So this door is not locked. Is the easternmost door locked? It is not locked. Is the southern door locked? It is not locked. Excellent. Okay. So we head into room nine. Okay. Um, let's see. What is in here? 2d6. Mm, nine. Been getting a lot of nines. It's empty room, but we can search it. Nine. Empty. And of course we do. Five. What's a five on the search? Five on the search is choose your choose. You find a clue, a secret door, or a hidden treasure. Let's find a clue. I never erased everybody's clues. Let me do that. So, well, first of all, who finds this clue? Three. Blesk finds a clue. So we're going to erase the clue that Throck found, the clue that Elric found last session, uh, or that they used last session. Blesk now has a clue. Good job, Blesk. You got a clue. And uh, Jim no longer has a clue. But Blusk does. She found something big, something of interest. If we find two more, um, cool stuff happens. Okay. Clue empty. Clue to Blusk. Okay, that's room nine done. D um, I'd like to see what's down here, but that would require backtracking. Let's do it anyway. Eight. Wandering monster? Nope. What is to our south? To the south, we have five, four. Tile is going to look like this. Um, it's a hallway and a square room, a three by three room. Can I make a three by three room here? Almost. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna come down like this. We'll just go down as far as we can. And we'll come over. I'm gonna actually connect it to this door here. Um, so yeah, I'm taking liberties with the tile. <laughs> We're just making it fit. That is room 10. This door is still uh, locked. Um, but we determined earlier that it has a sturdiness of three. So what is in room 10? Roll 2d6. We've got 12. Dra <laughs> dragon's Lair. Oh dear. Boss table. Uh, dragon's Lair. Boss table. I suppose that means it is a dragon for sure. Where's the boss table? Young Red Dragon. 10. Okay, boss. We've defeated one of these once before. We def uh, we caused one to flee. We did enough damage. If we defeat this one, we'll get a uh, experience roll. Young Red Dragon. Okay. They have a lot of treasure. We're after experience and treasure, so we got what we asked for. <laughs> uh, let's see how that turns out. Level 9. Level 9. Uh, 8 life. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 life, 2 attacks, 4 treasure rolls. As its first attack, this reptilian will breathe fire. All characters must save versus level 7 dragon breath. 
all characters add half level okay or take d3 damage thereafter it has two attacks now um i debated this before our reactions there's a one in six chance it's sleeping a two and three chance we could bribe it we don't want to spend any gold two and six chance it would fight and a one in six chance it would so we're just gonna fight it we beat one before we're and we're feeling pretty cocky <laughs> probably so uh so famous last words we're gonna charge this thing charge um who goes first throck throck is gonna attack with his two-handed hammer he rolls a one that's uh, that's a fail six level nine yeah i'm just the the rules that i just looked up in this session or the last one the automatic failure seems to only apply to defense rolls. I, I'm going to look for some clarification on that. Um, uh, so, but in any case, it wouldn't be enough for him to hit with his hammer anyway. But he has these magic metal shoes. Did I? We wore them in room 9. We wore them back to room to the corridor 8. And now we're in uh, this corridor. Uh, this hall, this room so 10 so pretty soon he's gonna have to take them off because they're, <laughs> they're uncomfortable um in, and we have not used our rage yet let's use our rage throck do we use them on the shoes why not he rages he rolls a six he explodes 10 plus 5 15 attack he kicks it <laughs> almost enough to do two wounds but just one so if he would have needed 18 it's level nine so every nine points does uh, does a does one point of damage or one wound so that's throck elric is gonna swing his uh silver one-handed hammer that's a two plus two four that's not enough blesk um let's do the lightning bolt blesk we need, that'll do two points of damage if it hits. Six explodes. Nine plus four is 13, so that definitely hits. It does two points of damage to the red dragon. And we got a mark off that we cast that spell. Lightning bolt. Okay. Jim, you're up. He rolls 2d6. Five is our uh, he rolls with advantage, so that's a five. Plus five is ten, so that hits. So Jim does a point of damage, and now it's the young red dragon's turn. On its first attack, this reptilian will breathe fire. All characters must save versus level seven dragon breath. So if I was very clever, I would have a color assigned to each player and then I could roll all four of these at once but I am not that clever so we're gonna roll one at a time Throck four plus his half his level is two it's six um and what are we saving against level seven so that's not enough so he takes one point of damage takes d3 points of damage so one to two is a is a one that's Throck burned for one point of damage okay um elric oh excellent six explodes 10 plus his d uh 10 plus half his level is uh two and a half rounded down is 12 easily defends so elric takes no damage who's next blesk four plus half her level is six not enough she takes a point of damage and last but not least jim explodes six again so he that's he's not going to take any damage so good that's the that's the fire done after this it'll have two attacks but um it's our turn so throck two-handed hammer two plus five is seven not enough but he kicks it with this metal magic metal shoe two seven also not enough uh elric with his silver and hammer two plus four not enough 
Uh, Blesk, that's a miss. One plus four, even if the one isn't an automatic failure, that's not enough. And Jim, come on, Jim. There we go. Jim explodes. Six explodes again. Twelve. Uh, Fourteen plus five is nineteen. That's two points of damage. Excellent job. That's Jim with his two-handed um, enchanted sword from the Lady in White. And that knocks the dragon down to level 8. And I believe we do a morale roll. That's a 1, and it flees. Um, if I've got that wrong, let me know. Somebody made a comment that I didn't completely under know if it applied to what I was doing here. But I think the boss, we do a morale roll, and uh, it fled. So we get four treasure rolls at plus one on the fiendish treasure roll table this is excellent so let's do let's do these four die so two i just flipped one <laughs> i don't know what, when i picked them up i flipped one i don't know what it said two five okay um so two so we get two d6 times two gold pieces that's seven that's 14 and again seven plus two times two is four says 28 gold pieces treasure number three is a three on the table choose either oh the scroll or a silvered weapon so we're going to try for the silvered weapon again here we go throck see if we can get you a two-handed hammer there is a two and six chance that the weapon is silvered one to two, it's silvered. Yeah! Silver. Two-handed hammer. Now, he's not going to use that normally because he has this masterwork hammer that explodes on a five or a six, which is sweet. But he now also has this two-handed hammer silvered that he can use if they run into a wraith. Um, and only silver weapons can hit them. So that's outstanding. We have silver weapons for everybody except Jim. Um, we need one more silver weapon. That'd be great. We have one more treasure roll. Five plus one is six. We get one random item from the Fiendish Foe's Magic Treasure Table. So what's it going to be? One <laughs> magic weapon. Roll a d6. Okay. On a one to four, on a five to six, a plus two attack bonus. This is permanent. Roll d6 to determine its type. One, slashing light hand weapon. So that's like a sword, I guess. So or a dagger, I suppose. Slashing hand weapon. Slashing light hand weapon. I think that's going to be a dagger or some kind of small sword. So we got a, a dagger plus two. We'll call it. Oops, wrong pen. Dagger. I don't think anybody... Well, that would actually be a pretty nice weapon for Blesk, I think. I'll have to read the rules about that offline. We might have just gotten a nice dagger for, for Blesk. We'll see if that works. I don't know if elves can use daggers. So um, that's our treasure. We get to do an XP roll. Let's um, let's see if we can level up Blesk. Blesk is level four. She needs a five or a six. Oh jeez, I got a six. Blesk just leveled up. <laughs> I don't know why Throck has so much trouble. Okay, there's Blesk at level five. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Level her up. Why don't we? So, we've got Blesk. She goes to level 5 up here. And I'll double check, but reasonably certain all we need to do is up her attack and her life. Her life goes up by 1 to 9. And her attacks go to uh, plus 5 and plus 6 versus orcs oh she also gets to cast another spell 
per level if I'm interpreting elves correctly. So she can cast five spells. So I'm going to give her another sleep spell. She's got a bunch of sleep scrolls and stuff. Those won't last forever. But uh, now she's got three lightning bolts and two sleep spells. There's a fireball spell. I think there's another, might be a defense spell or something. Um, I, I don't know. I just like the lightning bolts. Um, plus her name, I think, if I recall correctly, I chose her name meaning lightning. So, that's Blesk leveled up. We now have two level five characters and two level four. So, the uh, four against the abyss is definitely within our reach. Um, ten, level ten, or room ten. Let's see, should we do, how are we doing on time? Twenty-five minutes. Let's, let's do another tile. Why don't we? So, we are going to, should we come down here? Let's back, well, this is two backtracks. One, two, three. This is three backtracks. Oh, let's head out. So, we're going, oh, we got to bust down this door. As long as we don't roll a one, and we don't, Jim busts down this door. <clears throat> I hate leaving stuff unexplored, but um, I would like to get to the abyss. So uh, that's no wandering monster there. No. Oh, we got a wandering monster in the. Where were we? We were here. No wandering monster here. In this corridor, we got a wandering monster. Okay. So it attacks from behind. It is going to be vermin. Do we get unicorn hairs? No. Uh, fiendish foes, vermin table. What is five? Armored skeletons. I don't think we've seen those before. So we're up to four minions. This is now in room two. Wandering. Armored skeletons. How many? 2d3 plus four. Uh, one, two, three. Plus four is seven. Seven armored skeletons. Level five. Undead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Treasure minus one. Due to their armor, crushing weapons do not get any bonus. Arrows are at minus one. Ranged attacks were already at minus one because of the uh, fog, so that's not good. And they always fight to the death. Okay. Um, they won't have any treasure, which is a bummer. But uh, this will probably be our last um, room for this dungeon, unless we decide to do another session. Figure that out later. Let's go. They attack first, and they attack in the rear. They attack Blesk, who rolls a 4 plus 1 is 5 defense. That's enough. She doesn't get hit. And Jim, also, he does not get hit. Okay, it's our turn. Um, Throck, uh, it's a ranged attack, minus 2. 5, so that's a 3, plus 5 attack is 8. So he does manage to kill one. Uh, Elric rolls a one, uh, minus two is negative. That's not going to do it. Right. Yeah. Not even close. So Elric, uh, his sling is useless. Uh, sleep. Should we sleep them? Does sleep work against undead? I don't think it does. I don't think it does sleep. You'd think by now I would have memorized what page the spells are on. 49. 49 spells uh, sleep does not affect undead. So, yep. So, we could do lightning bolt, but that's only going to kill one. So, let's hit him with our silver sword. Why don't we? Six explodes. Four is ten. Plus her attack of five is fifteen. Really? Fifty? Does she? Uh, that would take out three, but we're in a corridor. She so she can only hit two. So two. Uh, she takes out two um, with her silvered sword. Jim, not to be outdone. What does Jim do? Five. Uh oh, I don't know why I'm rolling it again. It's just five <laughs> plus five 
is 10. So he takes out two as well. They always fight to the death, it says. So there's no morale roll here, even though we've killed more than half. And now it's their turn, and there's two left. So one attacks Blesk, and she fails to defend, so she takes a point of damage. And, um, who, and then Jim defends. He, yep, he defends. That explodes, but six already beats level five. So he's good. So let's um, Throck with his bow. One minus two, he misses. Elric, four minus two for ranged attack in this circumstance is two, plus his attack of five. I forgot. He's got plus five. So he's at seven. So he, he actually hits one and takes it out. He might have taken one out that time before. I don't think he rolled a one, right? So that was a fail. And uh, Blesk with Silvered Sword, three plus uh, five is eight. She easily takes out the last Armored Skeleton. No treasure in that uh, for Wandering Monsters. They head to room one. Any Wandering Monsters? No. And now... I will decide uh, offline if we just head to the abyss, which I am really inclined to do, or if we, <laughs> but I might not be able to resist uh, this unexplored half of the dungeon. So, and we do want to pay down our debt, and it's going to cost us to level up Jim and um, Throck uh, to go into the abyss. So we may do one more session of the sneering sewers. Or we'll head straight to the abyss. We shall see. In either case, um, we'll end this episode here. Uh, we'll play again soon. Until then, friends, keep your lanterns lit and your hearts warm. Thanks for watching.